Welcome back to my channel, License Immigration. Today, I will show you how to fill out the newest version of N400 Application for Naturalization Part 2. I will guide you step by step. Remember to subscribe, like, and comment below. Also, turn on the notification bell to receive notifications when I upload new videos. Remember to watch the whole video to have a better understanding of the form. On previous part one, I started already filling out the application, so let's keep on filling it in. And item 10, country of birth, type or print the name of the country in which you were born. Use the name the country at the time of your birth, even the name of the country if it has changed. Item 11, country of citizenship or nationality, type or print the name of the country as it currently exists, where you were currently a citizen or a national. If the current tree it no longer exists, type or print the current name of the country with the current tree, current authority. Item number 12. Do you have a physical or development disability or mental impairment that prevents from demonstrating your knowledge and understanding of the English language and or civics requirements for naturalization? Select yes if you're requesting an exception to the English language and or civics test based on physical development disability or a mental impairment that prevents you from complying with the English language and or physics Civics requirement for naturalization submit form N648, medical certification for disability, exception, as an attachment to your N400 form. Submitting a form N648 does not guarantee you will be accepted for the texting requirements. Item number 13. Exceptions from an English language test. Depending on your age and the length of time you have been a lawful permanent resident, you may not be required to take the English language test. A. Are you 50 years of age or older and have you lived in the United States as a per lawful permanent resident for periods totaling at least 20 years at the time you file Form N-400? Are you 55 years of age and older and have you lived in the United States as a lawful permanent resident for periods totaling at least 15 years at the time you filed Form N-400? Are you 65 years of age or older and have you lived in the United States as a lawful permanent resident for periods totaling at least 20 years at the time you filed your Form N-400? If you meet the requirement, you will also be given a simplified version of the specific civics test. Part 3. three. Note, read the information in the form N-400 instructions before completing this part. Accommodation for individuals with disabilities and or impairments. If this applies to you, you may need to fill this in. Are you requesting an accommodation because of your disability or impairment? So if it's yes, you may need to fill this in. Remember in every page it makes you, you need to fill your alien number. If you're using a system in the computer to fill this in, it may not let you fill this in. So you must need to use a black ink to fill this in. Part 4. Information to contact you. Provide your current telephone number as well as your current email address. Type or print an A if any item is not applicable or in the answer is none. 
unless otherwise indicated. If you're hearing impairment and you use a TTY telephone connection, indicate this by TTYI after the telephone number. If you have additional phone numbers, you may fill this in. If you don't, it's okay. At least provide one number. Part five, information about your residence, where you have lived during the last five years. So you need to list them. Start with where you live now and then include the dates for each place. You have lived month, day, and year. Be aware if it doesn't let you fill it this in with the typing, you need to use again black ink. State, you need to scroll down to, to click that option. In this side, you will put current. It doesn't let me fill it in, so you will use that. On part B, current, current mailing address. If it's different from the address above, if it's different, you need to fill this in. Here I will put the other country. So always read the instructions carefully. Also use CIS.gov provides you with instructions as well. Or you may just watch my video for you to have a better understanding of the form. So guys, remember to subscribe, like, and comment below. Also, turn on notification bell to receive notifications when I upload a new video. Stay tuned for new video and have a blessed day.